Harry and Meghan finally booted out of Frogmore Cottage after you throw over £2.4 million makeover. Frogmore Cottage was given to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex by the late Queen Elizabeth before King Charles asked the couple to vacate the home. So guys, as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have finally vacated Frogmore Cottage after being given notice of eviction by the King at the start of this year. So Michael Stevens, the keeper of the private cat balls, confirmed that Prince Harry and Meghan had left the five-bedroom property on the Windsor estate officially, but a senior royal aide insisted that no decision had been taken on who would now move into the house amid reports that the king would like to persuade his disgraced brother, Prince Andrew, to downsize from his seven-bedroom royal large home and live at Frogmore Cottage. It cost British taxpayers £2.4 million to turn the cottage, formerly divided into flats of staff, into a home for Harry and Meghan, and after the couple quit official royal duties, they repaid the money in deal that also covered several years' rent. It is not clear if the Sussexes have clawed some of that money back after being kicked out. Sir Michael, the King's most senior financial advisor, said, We can confirm that. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have vacated Frogmore College. We will not be going to any detail on those arrangements here, safe to say that, as has previously been stated, the Duke and Duchess have paid for the expenditure incurred by the sovereign grant in relation to the renovations of Frogmore College, thus leaving the crown with a greatly enhanced asset. The cottage, acquired by Queen Victoria in the 19th century, forms part of the taxpayer-funded occupied royal palaces estate. Andrew, who plans to refurbish Royal Lodge in the coming months, has the 30-room house on a 75-year lease from the independent Crown estate. So far, reports suggest that Prince is refusing to move from his Royal Lodge, which he shares with ex-wife Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York. Earlier this year, a source told OK, Andrew is adamant that he is staying at Royal Lodge for the remainder of his lease. He will not move into Frogmore without a fight. Royal Lodge is the home and will do everything in his power to remain in the property. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.